So hi everybody and uh, welcome to another Burning Issues. Um, so I've now think I've figured this out. I've got my podcasting microphone where the audio is coming uh, from and then my iPhone shooting in 4K. So I think I've got the best of both, well, both worlds. It's taken a while to figure this out but we're getting there. Um, so this week's uh, one is one close to my heart. Um, the thought that I've had um, something that I talk to people about an, an awful lot and introspectively think about an awful lot too. Um, and that's very simple. So that is without health, there is no wealth. And it sounds cliched and it's an adage you've probably heard a million times over. Uh, and what does it really mean? Well, to me, it's pretty simple. You know, most of my day I spend in the luxury watch market, whether trading, buying and selling, all that kind of thing, whether it be um consulting other um watch traders or jewelers that kind of thing or whether it be a uh, watch marketplace which will be a really interesting concept launching in probably six months summertime or so so i'll keep you posted on that elsewhere um now i could spend like 24 hours a day seven days a week you know 365 just working, grinding, hustling, all these words we've come accustomed to over the years. And it's kind of come out of, I would say, the Silicon Valley tech startup scene where you've seen, you know, Elon Musk when he bought Twitter, you know, he said to his team, listen, you've got to work hard or else, you know, there's no, you know, you're going to have to, there's the door, you know, he put beds into the office allegedly, um, so people could kind of work and then sleep and then work and then sleep and He's notoriously known for, you know, sleeping on his factory floor for Tesla um, in order to get more done. Some time ago, I think, and others may have thought, wow, that's that's inspirational, that's so interesting. The guy clearly was looking to achieve as much as possible. And then another part of me, I think, more recently, and I've had conversations with other entrepreneurs about this, looks at that and goes, maybe that's not the way to which to do things and not the model by which or the role model by which we ought to be living up to because what is working to the bone what's the point of it all one and two what does it do to your health both physically mentally and otherwise um you know if you're working hard you might be eating uh, fast food or microwave meals or skip meals altogether because you don't have the time um, to, to, to focus on those things. And that's, of course, awful for your mental health as well because we know that gut health and things you read are related to things that you, uh, your, your thoughts and feelings and your general mood. Um, so it's counterintuitive and counterproductive to, to operate that way. Um, but going back to the health versus wealth question, if you're not healthy, you're not in a positive mindset, and you're not um, physically healthy, but you're earning more money, or you're working harder, you're hustling harder, whatever you might call it, or grinding, what the hell's the point, quite frankly? You know, what are we doing this for? You know, you could argue with the Elon Musk situation, it's to leave a legacy, he's done amazing with Tesla, with SpaceX, with PayPal, um, with the Boring Company with um, all these different companies and projects he's been working towards. So, um, as I say, my kind of history, people know I've had kind of my own uh, battles with mental health, and I'm very, very cautious and careful as to how, how much I'm working. So I kind of look at it as a thermometer, an internal thermometer that I constantly think, well, I could do more today. I could spend more hours on a watch deal or do this or do that or do the other. But then what does that mean for tomorrow and next week and next month? And it's fine, you know, a day here, a day there, a week here, a week there, maybe even a month here, a month there to work that little bit harder. You might have a tax return, you might have a big deal across the line. It's in the business sense. Um, or, or personally, there might be more things going on. You might be planning a wedding. You might be doing these kind of things. But once you start to see a trend occurring where you're getting less sleep, you are more irritable, you can't think as clearly, and the focus is on things other than your own health, that's when you've got to take a step back and go, hey, I'm heading down uh, the wrong path, 
And at the end of the day, it'll end up setting you back much, much further than maybe missing out on that deal, maybe taking that step back, saying to your colleagues or your boss or your supplier or your client, look, I don't have time or or that's not the priority. I hate using that phrase, sorry. So more like it's not the priority or, you know, I'll, I'll get back to it tomorrow or managing other people's expectations. I could do a whole nother video on that, but that's the key. So don't over promise, don't under deliver, take your time on things and get things right. Um, and, and quite honestly, it's as simple as looking after number one, you know, be selfish. It may well be that a friend saying, Hey, come out for dinner tonight, do this, do that, do the other. But you know, you need that in that evening just to recharge, to maybe read a book, watch some Netflix, um, listen to some music, you know what you need to put yourself in the best possible mental headspace and saying no, as you may have heard from the likes of Warren Buffett is one of the most powerful things you can do. You need to know yourself. You need to know your own limits. You need to know how to keep your emotions and your health, both mentally and physically, in a control zone. If you're noticing, for example, like I have the last couple of weeks, I've moved apartments, I'm I've, I've doing a lot of new things. Um, it's meant that my physical health has taken a toll and has been simple things like going to the gym. I have gone, actually, the priority now is to do X or Y. Not saying it's good or bad, but change that mentality again from saying, I don't have time to go to the gym. I don't have time to call my parents. I don't have time to meet this person to that's not the priority. And then when you have that internal dialogue, you may well find, hold on a minute. I'm saying that not going to the gym, going to the gym is not my priority and I'm prioritizing the other thing. You might then realize, hold on a second, maybe the gym is the priority and the other thing I can do tomorrow, next week, or disregard altogether. So I hope that's been of use. Um, the the leading message is be selfish, know yourself, and uh, take care of number one at all costs. Have a great week ahead, guys, and hope you've enjoyed your weekend so far.